Thanks for clicking. My name is Mark Mitchell. I'm a mortgage broker here in London, Ontario. After a long 36-day campaign, $600 million spent, we finally have a winner. The Liberal Party and Prime Minister Justin Trudeau have a minority government. As the Prime Minister picked up three seats, so in case you don't want to do the math, that is $200 million per seat that the Liberal Party picked up with this election. A $600 million cabinet shuffle. That's a big win. Regardless of whether or not it should have been called, it is uh, all finished up and we're back to a minority government with uh, Prime Minister Trudeau at the helm. The Prime Minister did mention in his speech that he does plan on making housing more affordable. For homes that are in reach for middle class families. So it's good to see that the housing promises haven't been forgotten. But now it's everybody's favorite game, trying to figure out which promises will be kept that were made throughout the election. Like plans for $10 a day daycare a new target to cut greenhouse gas emissions and building 100,000 affordable housing units. So in this video, I just want to go over the promises made by the Prime Minister throughout the election, outlining six predictions, three of which are promises I think he'll keep, and three of which are promises I think he'll have a very hard time coming through with. Before we get started though, we do have some exciting updates coming out. Uh, the Fed is set to make its decision this week on tapering um, and whether or not they plan on raising rates sooner rather than later. And we will have updates coming down from China as the Evergrande saga seems to be unfolding. Um, so we'll have more updates as those come out. Please click like and subscribe. But for now, let's get into the liberal real estate promises. So the first promise that I think is definitely going to come true is his promise to uh, expand or change the first time home buyer incentive. That first time home buyer incentive, if you remember, is where the government matches your down payment and you ha and then they own a certain portion of your house. So if they match up to 5%, they own 5% of your house. The NDP, for its part, did say that they wanted to expand this option, so they're kind of already on board with the uh, Trudeau Liberals on, the, on this policy. But the reason I think for sure it's going to be expanded is that no one really noticed during the campaign, he added that to his Home Buyer's Bill of Rights without really saying anything. When the campaign started, there, the Home Buyer's Bill of Rights stated that they one of the Bill of Rights was going to be that lenders had to explain all of your options to you which is fine, we went over that in this video, that lenders should be explaining their options to you. But later on in the campaign, if you went and looked at the document again, it specifically listed the first time home buyer's bill of rights must be mentioned to you or explained to you by your mortgage lender. This, didn't, this came without any fanfare, it wasn't covered in the media, but for them to go in and specifically add this element to their home buyer's bill of rights, I think that definitely says something about their, their intentions for the future. So I would look for that first time home buyer's incentive to be either expanded or changed slightly because there was some talk about them turning that into um, repayable loans for your down payment. So I would definitely look for them to address that in the coming months. Second, turning the creating a TFSA and RRSP for saving for your down payment, I definitely think that is something they're going to do. We'll help you buy your first home soon. We'll get you to a down payment faster with a plan worth tens of thousands of dollars when you buy your first home. Um, they are already expand on the program that they already have to save for a down payment and it'd be relatively easy for them to go through and uh, just change the amounts and allow you to, to write all the, the $40,000 off of your taxes if it's used for a down payment. So I do think that that expansion of the TFSA program will happen. Um, It'd be relatively easy for them, and I think it'll be widely popular amongst first-time home buyers. And third, obviously, I think they're going to crank up supply as much as they can. Um, the Liberals, for their part, did promise 1.4 million new homes. The Conservatives promised 1 million, and the NDP promised 500,000. Obviously, Trudeau wants to re-up immigration, started going, pumping it back up again as the COVID uh, winds down. Hopefully, if it winds down. But uh, I, in order to do that, he's going to have to increase the housing supply. So I think that's going to be really high up on his list, increasing the supply of housing throughout Canada. So those are the top three promises I think he's going to fulfill. Now I just want to go over the top three that I don't think he's going to fulfill, with the first one being the guaranteed mortgage deferrals. If you'll remember, the Home Buyer's Bill of Rights promised to ensure that the banks offer six months mortgage deferrals in the event of job loss or a major life event. I don't think he's going to be able to do this one. 
Not that I don't think he can get it passed. I think the banks will lose it if they if he tries to uh, force this onto them. And even if they did do the six month referrals, I think their criteria for approving home loans would be so stringent that it just wouldn't work out well and that it would tighten up credit at a time when Trudeau and the Liberals and the country wants credit expanded. So I don't think that this one's going to pass and I don't, I, I really don't even think he'll try. I think industry insiders and the banks will let him know this just isn't a good idea. So I can see the mortgage deferrals going by the wayside. Secondly, I don't think he'll do the ban on blind bidding. The Home Buyers Bill of Rights just says that they're going to end blind bidding, but the federal government doesn't have the power to full out bland but blind bidding. They just don't have that juris jurisdiction. That's a provincial matter. The only thing they can do, and one of their spokespeople did say that they would do this, would be to criminalize blind bidding. So if grandma tries to sell her house, she could end up in jail. Obviously the reaction to this wasn't great during the campaign, and it wasn't really addressed by Trudeau beyond the release of that Home Buyer's Bill of Rights, and he certainly didn't say that they'd be criminalizing. It was just a outlier, a liberal spokesperson that said they'd be doing that. So I would think that they're probably going to going to get rid of that idea as uh, it's just going to be wildly unpopular. But more importantly, I think if they were to criminalize blind bidding, every provincial board all throughout Canada would have to come up with a new process for selling houses. And that's just going to create so many delays, so many learning effects as people try to understand the new system that at this point in time with the economy the way it is, Canada needs real estate running on all cylinders. We saw you know, the recent GDP numbers. When real estate slows down, our GDP shrinks. So with real estate carrying a lot of the burden of carrying GDP, GDP growth um, in our recovery, they're not going to really want to slow that down and they're definitely not going to want to mess with it too much until everything gets back up and running. So I don't think blind bidding is, or the end of blind bidding, I don't think that ban is going to happen. Finally, I would be surprised if I saw a two-year end on foreign buyers. Everything is too uncertain right now to know what that could mean. And when they say foreign buyers, they mean China. As we've gone in, gone through in another video uh, earlier on in the week, China's having its own real estate problems right now. And there's definitely already a worry amongst the leaders in the West, Trudeau, and I'm sure in the US, in the Fed, and the Bank of Canada that there's going to be contagion and that the the real estate crisis in china could spread here and those worries are definitely not unfounded so i don't think they're going to start start playing around too much with with the foreign buyer span until they know what's what that's not to say they won't try to tax it i could see a tax being imposed but a full outright ban i don't see that happening in the near in the near free in the near future despite what was said during the election so in summary, I do think the Liberal government is going to increase or expand the first-time homebuyer incentive. I think they're going to set up that savings account, the TFSA slash RRSP, for first-time homebuyers to save for your down payment up to $40,000. And I do think they're going to crank up supply because they obviously have to. Everybody's screaming at the top of their lungs that it's a supply issue, why prices have gone up so much in Canada. So I do think that they're going to at least try to, to rectify the supply issue. On the other side, I think that they'll have a real hard time ending or imposing mortgage deferrals on the banks. I think they'll have an even harder time in instituting blind bidding to the fact that they, to the extent that they won't even try to do it, because it could cause so, so much slowdown in the real estate market throughout Canada at a time when we really need it. And third, I don't think that they'll ban foreign ownership, as there's just too many variables right now, too much going on in the world between Canada and China and the US and China and the real estate market in China. There's just too much uncertainty right now to start fiddling with things when you don't really know what the consequences of that are going to be. With that said, as I said in other videos, uh, my predictions aren't always right. I, I try to be right as much as I can, but this is what I see happening. Um, and I think there's good reason for, uh, for the promises not being kept and for the promises to be kept. but. Um, obviously we can't always get what we want and uh, we'll have more updates as they come out. Click like and subscribe to get those updates and uh, thanks for watching.